G'day guys, thanks for watching today. This is a really different video, not really silly and mild, but look, I thought it would be pretty cool to show you what I'm doing. Um, I've got an old engine here that's uh, damaged, it's no good. Someone's bought it for a few bits and pieces. They've asked me to remove some pieces for them, but um, I wanna pull it apart and see what's going on with it. So let's have a look at uh, the, the motor and I'm gonna pull it apart completely all the way to the bottom, just cause I can and uh, have a look at it. So let's go. So here we go, it's a Briggs and Stratton. It's got absolutely no compression at all. So, uh, that's still spinning, the aperture. So let's, uh, let's pull it apart. Let's have a look inside and uh, I don't know what we're gonna find, but let's have a look. All right, we've just got to the, uh, the removal of the fuel tank here and have a look at this. There's a big hole, big hole there where something's come shooting out. So that's not supposed to be like that. So if you have a look inside, that's actually the crankshaft just there. So anyway, let's keep digging. Let's see what we uh, what else we can uncover. So that's the overhead valve cover off. And the valve is still working. There you go, oh, sorry. There you go, they're still working. So uh, I might pull the uh, head off. Now yeah, we've got a bolt there, a bolt there, a bolt down there and a bolt down there. So let's uh, pull the head off and let's see. It's actually really clean inside there. So it's a bit strange. I don't know what's going on. The fuel does smell a bit off, but um, I'm not seeing any signs just yet of uh, why it failed, but uh, as I said before, that's a big hole. That hole, for the viewers at home, is not supposed to be there. Okay, all right, let's uh, go ahead and pull this head off. There's the head off, there's no damage up top there to the valves at all. So that, that looks okay. And, uh, the piston isn't moving up and down though. Oh, it does when you push it. Okay, so there's the culprit. I'll bring you in close and let's have a look now. So as I push that piston back, not connected to anything. So this shiny part just in there. That's your piston. That's what moves up and down. So it looks like it's having a catastrophic failure by the looks. So I'm gonna pull it out and uh, have a look at it. And uh, let's have a look at the actual piston itself. Now, generally you can't do this. Usually you gotta there's one piston ring like I said this isn't the right way of doing it usually you've got to pull the engine apart and uh, take it off but hey it's all a bit of fun that's why we're doing it there's one piston ring Yes, I can, I just put my finger in there. <laughs> I 
have a look at that. That's your piston. And there's your uh, con rod. Snap, snap. So, that is what's let go on this thing. So I'll pull the uh, gudgeon pin out here. The gudgeon pin, that's your top of your con rod, and there's your piston. Okay, with your piston rings. There you go. And uh, definitely no good. Let's get a nice and close look down the bore now. As you can see, there we go. Don't know where the rest, oh yep, there it is down there. So there's the bore and the rest of it's in there. But I'm gonna keep pulling it apart because I'm having fun doing this and uh, we're almost there anyway. So let's uh, crack on and pull it apart. But uh, there's some slight scoring of the ball there down the bottom. Don't know whether it happened before or after. And there the top, the, there's a crack up the top right in there as well. So anyway, let's keep pulling it apart. Okay, there's the rest of it. So there you go, the bottom end. Looks like it's let go. There's all the pieces. And there's the rest of the, uh, the uh, con rod. All right. I'm gonna keep pulling it apart. Get these out, see if, I've never pulled these, one of these parts, so I don't really know. I'm just gonna see what's uh, going on. There's your, uh, there's your crankshaft there, and the other one down here. Oh, there it is. There's your camshaft. So that's cool. All right, let's go. Okay, the last thing to come out is the crankshaft here. So we'll just pull that out. So it's your crankshaft. There you go. So that's the Briggs and Stratton all pulled apart. There's nothing left, oh, it's got this thing here. But, um, anyway, it's pretty clean inside too, so I don't know what's actually gone wrong with this. Um, obviously, I do know what's wrong actually. It's the, the, the con rod uh, decided to uh, jump out of side the uh, engine case here. But um, that's pretty cool, like, I think I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna clean that up and keep it as a memento, I think, because it's pretty cool. Um, I don't know, I might make something out of it. Who knows? But uh, it's always fun to pull something apart. So anyway, wrap the video up there. Bit of a nothing video, but hey, why not pull it apart if you can? So thanks for watching. Um, catch you on the next one.